Hi, video 244. A different look about the place this morning due to a three day filming at the beginning of the week. They used the B-25 and the Mosquito in the film shoot. Outside the hangar, a large number of wooden crates. These could have been used on the film set. Inside the hangar, the first aircraft is the B-25, then the Mosquito and the Lancaster. This is only temporary positions as they will go back to the original places Jacob's blind riveting the port side trailing edge along where the aileron goes. The skin was removed and the trailing edge was used to improve the jig. Now out of the jig it can be put back to rights and fitted onto the French wing which is on just Jane. Like only a couple of weeks ago, I took this off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm putting it all back together. Helping put it all back together again. John, uh, John did all the solid rivets up the top, and I'm just helping put the pops in. <laughs> these would have been all solids originally, but it's just easier because it's only going on for a couple of years. Then what Gavin made to help yeah. locate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dave's removing former number 38. He is de-riveting the extrusion from the web to enable him to remove the former. Norm is riveted the cleats to the formers using an air driven squeezer. At this stage not riveting the cleats to the springs. Saves all the noise Norman. It's good actually, yeah, it's alright. If you can use it, you might as well use it. Are you riveting both the formers and the stringers no. to it? No. But the spring is just going to attach the little grips together, but the, the cleats attach to the corner. Yeah. There we go.
Yo que quiero matar. 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 Especially his beard now. Yeah, yeah. You just put it on one face or both faces? Just one. Just the one. It's just so fiddly. How many do you, cleats do you do at a time? Um, try and do one frame. I'm now doing four across because I'm on, stood on this. Yeah. And then the rest I can do sitting down or standing so I can work my way around. Mm -hmm. So I'm just doing groups of four at like one, two, three, four. I can reach. Then you'll here. rivet them, will you? Then you'll rivet them. Yes, yeah, so I'll do that one, that one, that one, that will get more yaksh yakshi, jointly compound, and then, then I'll rivet them. Yeah, yeah. Bomb aimer blister is now fitted. Those who have read their Rivet Club email know that Brad and Jerb had a devil's own job to fit it. The blister was drilled to fit NX611 nose. This is NX664, the French Lancaster nose, and the holes didn't line up. The number one engine now fitted. I had a word with Sticky how things went. Did it go on as well as I expected? Yes. The engine? Yeah. Because um, you said yeah, there you. Right. Yeah. 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 The, uh, it's just piecing it together now, yeah. because it was all stripped down because we had to get the um, the engine bearer um, repaired. Yeah. It had a lot of corrosion in one of the tubes. Um, we sent that away. Um, the tube's been replaced and everything. So then um, put it back on the engine on the on the engine stand, and then uh, then put it back into the airframe. Yeah. So all the bolts went in nicely. The nuts had gone in nicely, and yeah. um, it's just a case of putting all the pipe yeah. work back on. Yeah. Have you, and have like you got the um, primer pipe in now? Yes, all the priming system's back in, yeah. or the priming system's made up. Uh, it's all fitted in, it's all clamped in. Yeah. Um, so when we get the opportunity that we need to put some fuel in the starboard tank, uh, number two tank, and then um, basically, get rid of the air out of the system yeah. and then um, go for a the... dummy prime yeah. and check that it's actually drawing the fuel out and everything and also um, flushing the pipes out as well. Yeah. Um, so we haven't got too many connections to join the pieces together because it just makes it easy to actually get, get the pieces out. out. Yeah. The longest yeah. piece is in the fuselage because it's got to go the width for the fuselage. Yeah. Yeah. So it just makes it safer for the passengers and that the pipe can't burst or, or yeah. anything else. It can't leak because there's yeah. no joints in there. Yeah. Um, so we've got it externally. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so it's, once we get some fuel in it, we can prime that and then um, just flush the pipes out and then check that uh, 
it's actually drawing the flu fuel out. Yeah. Um, and then we need to do leak checks on the whole fuel system with the fuel cocks, um, the fuel that filters. That will have to do outside, won't we? Yeah, we've yeah. got a fuel fuel. But yeah, we're finishing off bits and pieces. So you've got all the controls in the leading edge now, have you? Yeah, all the controls are in the leading edge. If you look in that, this panel up here, which is um, basically riveted back on, um, it's got the um, boost part. I'll get a torch. Yep. Oh, yeah. So the top two pipes is actually the um, fuel priming pipe. It goes to number four, uh, number one engine, that one. Yeah. Um, and then the other pipe is the, the actual boost pipe, which is the pressure pipe from the supercharger. That's the top one. <laughs> and then you've got eight control rods in there. You've got two, two um, uh, a throttle and two, uh, two of the CSU ones. Yeah. And then there's another one in there that's for the flow and cutoff. Um, basically shuts the engine down yeah so you've got the wiring in as well the wiring's in yeah and the, the fuel pipe itself there is it's very at the bottom at the back that's the silver looking one is it no the no. black one the black one, the black oh, one I, yeah. yeah i've got it yeah. that one comes in it goes over the tank over the oil tank down the other side and into the fuel filter and into the engine yeah. so we can't get away with that pipe really so that's that's had to be fed fed back in and then up into the um, fuel pot yeah. on this side here. <coughs> on yeah, you've got the, the small one, is it? The one on the right of the big fuel um, engine? No, it's, that's, that's the connecting point yeah. from the main fuel cot to the, um, the shut-off cot, which is the number four number one yeah so the pipe you see on the right hand side of that is actually the one that goes to the number one yeah. so that goes down the leading edge all the way to the fuel filter yeah. so normally the um, when you've got the number two tank in there'll be another pipe coming out to the leading edge runs alongside it and then it goes to where that red cap is all and right, that fits it, yeah. onto there that's right because it's the other side of the wheel isn't it number two. yeah yeah. So if you um, obviously if you open the so number, number two one, where will number one there? come in? That will come in on the opposite side to the red connection, will it? No, the number the number one is is that short um, short looking little bend. Oh, is it? Pipe. Yeah, I that's see. the number one. Yeah. yeah. No, sorry, I was, I was talking about tanks then. This is number one tank, isn't it? The big tank in this wing. This one is, yeah, yeah. Right. That'll go into that where you see the left hand side. Yeah, that's there's a cap on it. Yeah, yeah, that's where that one would go yeah. normally. Um, and then the right hand one is for the number two. That's yeah. that's the two at the back. That's the feedings, yeah. And then that one there is your cross feed um, pipe, so you're able to obviously transfer fuel from one wing to another wing. Yeah. Um, and obviously, if we had the other tank in, we sometimes cross feed it so that you've got a level. Yeah. Sort of thing on Will it board. affect it with putting extra fuel in the left hand, the starboard side, when it's taxing? It will a little bit, yeah. yeah. It will, will a little it bit. Pull it a bit right? Um, no, it shouldn't do because uh, yeah. the, the wheels are sort of like self levelling, if you like. So when oh, it goes yeah. around the corner or it's towed around the corner or um, it's slightly off balance with, yeah. like, say, more weight one side than the other then you'll see the oleos um, uneven so the wheel is designed to go like that move separately from the undercarriage yeah. struts like for the here so this will move up and down in the oleo but it also will move in here as well so that the whole axle can sort of like go like that yeah on the horizontal plane it can actually move oh, up and down it, yeah oh. yeah so um I don't know if you saw it before, but when we had the um, no engine and subframing, um, the other side wheel was actually cocked over to the side, or it was, yeah, it was moving up more on the side. It, yeah. So, um, you know, we had too much, well, we didn't have enough weight on this side, because yeah. we've still got the, the trailing edge and the wingtip to go on. Yeah, so, of course you have, yeah. Yeah, so once yeah. they go on, 
it'll come down a little bit more and once it's yeah. towed around and had a couple of bumps and that you know yeah, it'll exactly. it'll settle down yeah yeah and we've got to go through it all again in two years time take it all off again take it all off again yeah, yeah. you think it'll be but two then, years you won't get the, the wing won't get done for next year uh, not for next winter no. no or this winter no. no it's got to be for the the following winter really yeah. so um no, we've picked up some good things. We've replaced like quite a lot. Yeah. Um, we're just striving to get it that much better and more reliability as well. Right, lovely. Thank you. It was a battle, that wasn't it? Fun. <laughs> it was a battle to get that out. They finally removed former 38 to the bench. So these are saveable. Sorry? Yeah, they all have been so far. Yeah. Normally just have to make a new web. Yeah. Everything else is um, reusable. And there are a few of these to make again, will you, Terry? No, I think they'll all salvage. Yeah. yeah. There's Terry bits on there. Um, that and, and that will play there. Yeah. Bit lovely. Mm. If you get that stuff stuff on uneven, will it press out evenly? Yeah, it does. It, it can sit. You try not to put too much on because it's messy, but just squeezes out, does just, it? Yeah, it's just you can see it all on each one. They just squeeze out a little bit. They're just swapping the aircraft around this morning, and they tell me they fuel the lank as well. They are moving all aircraft back to the original positions inside the hangar.
The Lancaster has 100 gallons of fuel in number two starboard tank, which is the only tank fitted to the Lancaster for this year's taxi runs.